everyone, and welcome to our Facebook Live here at Innovate for Climate in Singapore. This is the last interview we will be doing here with our Digital Media Zone. So thank you very much for joining us. Please use the hashtag Innovate for Climate and join in the conversation. I'm thrilled to be joined by John Room, Senior Director for Climate Change at the World Bank. John, welcome. Thank, thank you. you for joining us. So it's been a packed week at Innovate for Climate this week. Um, lots of sessions, lots of experts, lots of discussions. What's been your take on this week? So I think that um, timing, location, and topics was absolutely right. I think there's a strong focus on both the scale and the urgency of climate action that we need to take. And I think that that message has come through each and every one of the sessions. But it's not only the fact that we need to take action now, it's the sense that everyone has a role to play. And I think we get a strong sense of commitment. I think bringing Innovate for Climate to Asia has proven to be really valuable. One, because the challenges in Asia are so great. But secondly, the solutions and opportunities that you see from, from Singapore to China to India to Indonesia, lots of good ideas in terms of moving this forward. Singapore has been an excellent co-host here, and I think the idea of combining this with Ecosperity has been very helpful. There's been smooth transition from the Ecosperity activities to the Innovate for Climate activities, and so that has been very helpful. We also had thematic approaches, uh, one on uh, battery, scaling up battery storage, secondly on sustainable cooling, and third on green sustainable cities. And I think people voted with their feet. And so you could see a lot of people coming to these sessions, talking very energetically about it. And I think not only are these issues important, but it was focused on solutions. And so I think this combination of urgency, importance, people taking action and looking for solutions made it really very valuable. Thank you. Um, and we've heard a lot about the innovations and the ideas that are out there. So is there one that's really stood out for you this week? At the risk of seeming like I'm dodging your question, I think the point is that it's not any one idea that jumps out. You know, we did a pitch hub competition and we had a winner and we had some runner ups and that was great. But there were over 230 proposals, all of which were really good. As I sat through a number of the panels, there were a number of panelists that had lots of good ideas, but using the BuzzFeed um, uh, uh, input, you had lots of good commentary from people in the sessions, lots of good ideas. And so the main takeaway that gives me hope and inspiration from what happened here is not any one idea, but the fact that there are so many people with lots of good ideas and putting these on the table and the opportunity to bring all of these together to bring the whole to really be more than the sum of the parts. Okay, and so since we're wrapping up, what do you think the future holds for this flagship event? So I think we've proven that uh, this focus on bringing together people that look at financial aspects of climate change together, public, private, civil society, is valuable. We're going to be continuing this into Spain next year. Spain has graciously agreed to host it for us next year. I think we need to think about, as we go forward, how do we use this to get even greater scale? Now, we need to define a little bit sort of uh, what the special topics might be for Spain. But one of the ideas we kicked around this morning was to focus on maybe greening of the financial sector. The European Union is going to come up over the next uh, few months with some specific guidelines on what financial sector institutions need to do to become more green. Innovate for Climate next year in Spain might be a wonderful opportunity to bring together not only the big banks and their leadership, but regulators, ministries of finance, to talk about how we turn some of these ideas into reality. But that's just one idea. I think the point would be to focus on how we can get even bigger impact by focusing on thematic things. We're bringing people together will allow us to drive greater ambition. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for joining much. us. Uh, follow the conversation using the hashtag Innovate for Climate, and we'll see you in Spain next year.